Hey there everyone, so this is the quad that I've been using for all of the videos that you see on my channel so far. But recently my uh, FPV camera, I was using the Runcam Swift and it decided to die on me so I went ahead and took it out and sent it back. But when I, I was looking at it and I decided that I really just, I want to reorganize all these wires and, and clean that up, make it a, a smoother setup. Um, as you can see I've had a few crashes and uh, I've broken a few little chunks off of the frame. This is just a wooden frame and uh, I originally had these uh, screws that hold the standoffs into the wood. They were just through one layer of wood and uh, it would, when I crashed it like ripped the whole side of the wood out and that's what happened here. So and there too. That's where the standoffs used to be. But so I had to glue it back together and it just looks ugly to me. So plus I would really like to uh, cut these barrel connectors off between the ESC's and the motors and directly solder it all together and I kinda wanna get the ESC's out from underneath all this stuff to give them more airflow because I really don't want them to overheat or anything so I would like to I'm gonna redesign this frame and uh, it'll probably be a X frame um, so I figure since I'm gonna be redesigning this and, and building this pretty much from scratch again uh, I'll make a video series showing how I do it um, Hopefully it'll be informative to show you how to build a, a mini quad from scratch. Um, this is going to be a very cheap frame. Um, normally a carbon fiber frame would be like $50, $50 up. This, is, this frame is like $7 maybe. Um, but yeah, so it should be pretty interesting. Here's a design that I threw together in Google SketchUp of the new frame that I'm going to be building. So it has a lot of similarities to my current frame, but it has a couple of differences too. So this, the top and bottom plates are both the same size. They're going to be 8 inches long, or 203 millimeters basically, and about 2 inches wide, which is 50, about 50 millimeters. But some of the differences are that the arms are going to be in the X configuration. And one of these is going to be one long piece of wood, and the other one's going to have to be cut in half. They're going to be glued down to the bottom plate on top. And then I'm going to have a power distribution board on top of the arms, and that's going to be screwed down with bolts and I will route the ESC wires to the power distribution board and I'm going to mount the ESCs on the arms to give them better airflow uh, to keep them cool and then out here where the motors mount it's going to be doubled up as well that's how I have it right now and it, it seems to work fine so I'll, I'll have a big hole drilled in the top one for the bottom bearing of the motors that I'm using and that should work good another thing I'm going to add is that here on the front where the uh, recording camera is going to be I'm going to add a third standoff just to keep it from vibrating too much. I noticed that on my quad right now it's a little flimsy, so I don't know if that's contributing to any of the vibrations that I'm experiencing, but uh, we'll see. If it doesn't work, then maybe I'll just take it out. The uh, length from end to end is going to be 300 millimeters, and that's a little bit longer than the one I have right now. My current quad is 280, I think, but this is just so that the propellers have a little more clearance from this these standoffs. Because right now there's like less than a quarter of an inch and I kind of want a little bit more. That should work that way pretty good. So enough of this, let's get building. Alright, we got the wood. Look at that, only $15. So I got three of these uh, 3 16 inch by 1 inch by uh, 24 inch pieces. And then I've got, this one is a little thinner. I might use it for the top plate or the bottom plate, I'm not sure. Then I also have two of the 3 16 inch by 3 inches by 24 inches and these are the ones I'll probably use for the top and bottom plates but I'm not sure yet um, but that's what I used for the last one it seemed to work good but since this frame is going to be mostly supported by the arms the X I might be able to go with the thinner pieces for the top and bottom plates just as long as it's not too flimsy so we'll see